Hi guys, this is me Rohan. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. And in this video, I am going to show you an ID that is, I think, better than Arduino ID. So let's get straight into this video and let's find out how this ID is. I am on my computer screen right now, so I will search for Embedder. So this is an ID that I was talking about. Okay. So as you open it, here is the UI of this app. Okay, how this works. So guys, this is an AI based uh, ID. All you need is to just describe your hardware project. It will write your code, upload it, compile it. And if it found any error in compilation, it will fix it and then compile it and then upload it. Installs all the library necessary. All you need is to just sit back and just give your commands and it will do all the things. Okay. So let me show you how this whole thing works. So as you open it, you will find yeah, like a very cool message. Your idea, my code. Let's go Rohan. Not necessary that you will find the same. It changes every time whenever you open it. So it asked me to, uh, okay, let me just delete some projects in order to create it. Okay. So I will write a project over here. Okay. What I'm going to make. And before that, let me show you some of the things like how it, all the things are working. You can see it auto detected the board, just like your Arduino ID. Okay. Here you can select your model from Gemini uh, 3.0 Pro to 2.5 Pro, GPT 5.1, Python Codex, Cloud Haiku and all. So I will go with Gemini and all. Okay. After that, uh, you can also see over here, right? They have project suggestion like LCD by the registration as the card data logger, keypad lock and all the things. Okay. So we will make a project uh, right now. And one more thing that I wanted to show that is my personal favorite thing. That is the manage and install uh, boards. It is very easy to install. Currently they offer uh, over here. Uh, main tab like Arduino AVR boards, ESP32 and ESP266 and it's very easy to install. All you need is to just simply click on install and it will install it, it as easy as it is. It's very easy guys. And over here you can add URL of your custom boards like if you want to add any you can add over there. Okay. So now I'm gonna give it a like I will describe it how to make that project make not how to make it just give it a command like make a project. That will scan my UID of uh, RFIDs, okay, of the RFID tag, sorry, using the MFRC522 uh, RFID module, which is this one, as you can see, okay, using my Arduino and all the things, and of course, a 20 cross 4 uh, LCD display. Okay, let's see how it writes the code. So now let's give it a command, okay. Okay, write a code to, oh, sorry, uh, make a project in which use in which you have to use 20 cross 4 i2c lcd and arduino uh, no, sorry and mfrc 522 rfid and scan uid of the tags and print it on the lcd okay now we will simply hit enter it suggested me name rfid uid lcd you can change by your own oh, i will go with it and just say create project it is showing loading project so to start in let me show you how this whole thing works so you can see here is your ins sketch here you can see it found 61 libraries but select the best library that maximum time uh, we use in order to get a better results okay searching for the library index over here like it has installed the one of the library which is this bonzegi uh, lcd2004 i2c let's check whether it works or not uh, over here you got your serial monitor as you can see over here, uh, where you can do all your uh, serial communications, all this are like you can see it connected. It says a scanner for ID tag. Okay, actually I have a previous code based on this only, so that's why I have said. Okay, so you can see there is some compilation issue it found and it is solving it. Okay, it is solving it one more time. You can see uh, it is installing it. That is the great thing. Look, they have used earlier any library which not worked with this one, and it automatically fixed it with installing the library which is required that is liquid crystal i2c and you can see it is like compiling the sketch automatically over here you find your code and you can see uh compilation was successful okay you can see uh here you will find your code okay the main code over here is your terminal where you can run your external file if you want to run it like python file that is linked with it you can run it easily or any file you want to so here you got a readme file as well where you will get all the information about your project like readme.md which gives you all the description about your project like how to do the connection and all the stuff related to your arduino mega structure like what, what arduino mega structure supports like the miso mos is different as compared to uno boards so you will find all the things over here okay here is my serial monitor which is connected already okay here is the output that compilation was successful 
okay here is the terminal to run uh, any other file if you want to run you can do it here you can see here you got the options like uh, toggle file explorer uh, if you want to go back you can go back over here here is your boot option here is your port option here is your boot option if you want to select like a cpu whether it is admin command 280 or 2560 in my case it is 2560 okay so leave it over here you will find compile and upload and of course the version history and all the things so here is my code you can see it describes all the thing it did if you want to know like uh, how this code works how this code works even you can ask this as well that is great part right guys and over here is a uh, upload button i'm simply gonna click on upload and it will for sure do the upload thing okay you can see it has started attempting to upload it and you can see upload was successful okay so it automatically upload the code by the way sometimes it happens that it uh, forgot to upload the code right but it is uh, going and, and here is the moment of truth you can see uh let me just refresh it in order to uh, show you okay uh it is start with rfid tag this list can friday okay so here i have my rfid tag i'm gonna bring it you can see it is showing right and now another one you can see it is showing so now let's talk about the pros and cons so if i talk about the pros everything you have seen like it's damn good right like from writing the code selecting the model auto creation of the code and of course the readme.md file terminal serial monitor connections and all the thing is like great okay cons i haven't find a such a major issue to be honest okay uh sometimes due in ui you will find that uh it takes time like not time of course sometimes it crashes like it happens very rare case to be honest i have seen like i have uh, got some like interrupts like this two or three times most probably I, and i am using it from a uh, more than a week now so that is not a major cons right like till now that i have got right and of course developer is developing it uh, more and more it is in a beta version right now but uh, they are uh, improving it day by day and it is in a make in india app so i must say that you guys should support this okay so i hope that you love this review so if you love this review uh, share with your friends families and of course the maker community i hope that i have contributed a great uh, information on this uh, that was me rohan signing off